Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about one of my favorite all-time teaching and learning tools, and that is the Change Matters Viewer from Esri. Now it uses data from USGS, from Landsat Imagery, and it has these development partners that you see here on the screen. This is a wonderful tool, easy to use, and it allows you to look at coastal changes, urban sprawl, development, um, reservoir of dam construction around the world using one simple tool that's online on the web. I'm just using a web browser. I'm on the changematters.esri.com site and I'm comparing, in this case, the Aral Sea at a regional scale in Kazakhstan. Now if I zoom in with the shift and dragging a box method or I can use the toggle plus and minus signs on the left side, I can see that the Aral Sea's extent in 1975 was this extent, the Aral Sea in 2000 was this, and I can see the vegetation index, the NDVI, the Normalized Differential Vegetation Index from 1975 to 2000. As the sea has shrunk, some of the plants in that area have grown because there's no longer water covering that part of the land, so the actual vegetation has increased. However, the impacts socially, environmentally, and economically, you can examine in a lesson that you're teaching and use this tool in conjunction with that lesson to talk about, okay, well, let's analyze the extent that the RLC has shrunk, and then more importantly, talk about why it's important and the impacts that it's having. Another thing we can do is we can analyze different years. So for example, if the students read articles from 2000 to 2000, 10-ish talking about how the sea has rebounded. Let's, let's see if the evidence bears that out. So if we look at the north part of the sea, there's some evidence that it has rebounded a bit from 2000 to 2010. I just changed the dates here. But the other part, that south part, which actually was formerly all one sea, there was no north-south in the past, that has definitely continued to shrink. In fact, the rate of, in, uh, of shrinkage has accelerated, one might argue. So Again, if this is part of your lesson on why the USSR in the, mid in the mid 20th century decided to divert the two main rivers that fed the Aral Sea and the consequential decrease in water and show them a, a couple of National Geographic or other ground images of boats that are now 10, 20 kilometers from shore that are just sitting on the salt flats, talk about, okay, we've made choices on the landscape. People benefited, other people were harmed. Some things benefited, some things were harmed. The environment, sure there are crops grown and people benefited from those, but we've got higher salinity, we've got a lot of fish die off and other aquatic die off. We've got some environmental issues with uh, dust in the air and people's health and so on. So there's lots of things going on here that uh, can be investigated, I think, in a rich way in a geography or an environmental studies class using the Change Matters viewer from ESRI to back up what you're investigating. Thanks.